as you can see, the deck is lightweight. A 2.2 metre panel can be carried with one hand. This being a single span scenario, the deck laps 50 mil minimum on structure support on steel work. Laps over side by side, fat and a thin edge interlock. You line the arches through and now down. This is a double span scenario. You can see the operatives pulling the sheets out of the bundle and dragging them to one end to then lap the, and leave in place until the bay is finished. Then they will spread the bay alongside out the same next to those panels and line up the arches at the ends by kicking them into place like this and nailing it down. It all starts with the first panel you lay at start point featured on our layout drawings which tells the operative what dimension from the center of beam they should nail the first sheet down from then the deck is laid out and lined from that point forward so then our layout drawing will show you where the last panel ends which ensures you minimize waste and the correct number of panels are manufactured for the floor you're filling in if stud welding is required then it is important to lap the panels and mark the top of the panel to show the stud welders where the beam is underneath the deck. Make, the, make sure those marks are showing the width of the steel work underneath the deck. The mark should be two lines therefore. When you're fitting any deck types into the web of the beam, then you ensure the ledger angle in the web protrudes beyond the top flange by at least 50 millimeters. This ensures the panel will fit between the beams without risk of losing minimum bearing or not fitting the tool onto the deck to fix it properly. We tend to patch corners and around columns to help prevent grout loss using flat plate or closure plate or off cuts of edge trim. We tend to use our initiative and carve this in on site. Depending on the required patching. And then it's ready for mesh and concrete.